It's only been four days since fire and smoke took 17 lives and injured dozens in this 19-story brick building in Fordham Heights. Residents describe it as hell, trying to find their way out through smoke-clogged hallways and stairwells. I can't sleep. But the thing about the bodies that passed away and the two bodies I saw on the stairwell and everything, the dead door, that's why I can't sleep. I'm afraid I'm going to have a nightmare over that. You know, I've never seen like that in my life. Julius Castro is likely not alone. Dr. Sumir Sagal of Essen Healthcare in the Bronx says surviving a fire like this can cause real trauma. Some people may not feel the effects, but their actions are different. Post-traumatic stress disorder is real. Uh, people will feel that they're on guard, they are, have sleeping problems, they have anxiety. Dr. Sagal says healing both the mind and the body is important. Smoke inhalation can be very dangerous. The short-term and long-term effect is that underlying medical conditions become very important. If somebody has an underlying medical condition, they will get exacerbated, like asthma, cardiovascular disease. And this chaplain is hoping the power of prayer will help the victims, families, and survivors. There's nothing that anybody can say to uh, heal the, the brokenhearted. And Essen Healthcare has multiple locations in the Bronx, including one right here along the Grand Concourse, just blocks from the deadly fire. They're offering free mental and physical health care for survivors. There is help out there for people who need it.